Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and welcome to Alaska. We have arrived in Northport, Alaska. Now, when I uh, <laughs> about <laughs> when I first started this series a long time ago now, um, I had our first few days in Alaska all really well planned out in my head, and now that I'm here, it's really not all there at all. But we start at the garage here. We have four watchtowers. Uh, Alaska is uh, made up of four maps. We've got the, the White Valley, we've got the Mountain River, and we've got Pedro Bay. But what we need to do is nearly five o'clock. We need to get in and we need to get ourselves our first vehicle. So that's why we are in the garage. Um, all of our other vehicles are in truck storage. Now, we could pull any of these three and go and head out and you know do our thing but i would like to run it a bit different as i've said i do have a vehicle in mind and it is the international lodestar but it is the jbe mod version this one's just going to allow us to pull a bit more fuel about with us carry a few more repair parts with us we'll get some more tire options i think we'll just be able to have a bit more fun with it and we'll be able to progress through a little bit quicker because it took us a little bit a little bit too long in um in michigan so the the jbe international load star 1700 is uh, what we're going to go with and it's going to cost us a little bit more than the regular it's 40 grand so we shall purchase that And then we need to go and customize it. And that's where the the extras come in. So we are. I think we'll actually I think we'll leave the engine as standard for now. The gearbox will be the off-road gearbox. That still says work in pro. I can't remember trying it. I think it has um, um extra gear points so we're just going to go with the off-road we're not going to sell things this time although a lot of this isn't going to be worth anything elsewhere now we are going to go with we've got act we've got the stock there's active um and raised we are going to take the raised it's a bit bouncy but we are going to take the raised because then we can fit the larger tires and for tyres, we have got a lot of options. But we're going to go straight down. And I think we may have, if the mod is still installed. Is it the OG ones? They might be what I want. No, they're not what I want. Had a, had a good old scroll. Um, I think we're going to go with the... We could go with the 50 ones. We go with a 50... We go with a 55 studded single. I think that's a little bit big. That might make us a little bit too wide for some of the narrow gaps. They're expensive. This is why I needed the 80 grand. But we might go with the studded. I, don't, I didn't use these before. I think these have been added into the pack since. So I might even go with them. We waste money on tyres. If, if they're too wide, we'll have to go with something thinner. But I'm going to buy them studded they're going to help us in the ice that's instead of chains that's what they are so uh our winch is just going to be um the autonomous scout winch we'll go with that so our spare oh that looks a bit much, that's a bit much isn't it um, I think we take the spare wheel. Again, this is going to have extra repair parts. It's got an extra wheel on it. It's got a little extra fuel for the tank, which is what we're going for. Uh, our snorkel was going to go for the tallest one. And then our frame add-on. I think we can still get... I don't want that, do I? That would, be in, that would be pretty cool, though. All of that. We want I think just the regular on the back. And again... Mm. So I've brought that fuel. That doesn't fit. I thought we could fit the two on. There may be another chassis add-on. No, that is the one I want. So we're going to do that with the roof rack, I believe. I 
Where's it gone? There it is. Pick up chassis add-on. So we'll have that. So that's going to give us some extra wheels, some extra spare parts, some extra fuel. So I've wasted money on that other one already, but we'll stick the roof rack on as well. Again, spare wheels, spare parts, a little bit more fuel. Now we have to, I believe, if I remember this rightly, we have to fill all this up with fuel as well. It's not going to come fully stocked, I don't believe. So then uh, we want, I want to worry about rear bumper, front side, not worry about thresholds. Roof should be fine, it's got the lights on. Rear fender, I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. No, because it's going to change how it works. So front bumper, what do we want? Is that going to help us to... <laughs> to, to stabilize at all. I just want extra lights, really. Hinged. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I like that. It's, it's more look than anything. Miscellaneous. Want extra horns or anything like that. Angle sun visor, I'm not too worried. So I'm not going to go with any of that. Ah, uh, exhaust. We want that to go in up, so we'll go with the heat shield up the side. Rims we don't tend to worry about. Paint job, I think we might go with... Should we go with the custom... The custom job? I mean, we were sort of working the colour with the series, but this doesn't sort of really go well with extra colours. We shall... We'll go with that, that's fine. And I'm not too bothered about the other stuff, I don't think. Stickers and things, they're not necessary. So we have got ourselves quite the beast. There it is. And we're now down to 100 grand. So that's cost us 70, 74 grand. So I said, I said that'd be a fair old bit. So now that we're ready, let's head out. So off those fuels are good. So I just want to check what's what is where. Oh no, so we are we are pretty good for fuel. Okay, well that's a little bonus. I thought we were gonna to have to fill them up. Now we have a trailer here. Now one of the reasons I went for this, I believe anyway, I think that this will connect to these trailers. I think. I might be wrong, but I think it does. It does. Right. This is going to allow us to open up some some early bits of the map. Some of you might think this is a bit naughty, but the I, I spoke about it during the Michigan stuff. This is just the little sister to the Fleet Star that I absolutely love. This is the Load Star, and I, I believe that this should be able to pull these trailers. Many others believe this should be able to pull bigger trailers. It's, it's just a, a bit of a micro truck. But that's what we need. And although I don't do this very often, we are doing a little bit of hindsight loading. And we are going to... Well, actually, maybe we should. I can't remember what I need now, so we better go check. We'll go and check. We'll go back. Unless that's the job for it. Well, we'll see. What does that say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I have to be careful? This truck is going to be a little bit... A little bit fresh. What does that one want me to do? Oh, containers in the river? I oh, will just start that anyway. Right. right I'm going to leave you here. I cannot remember if I want... How bad is that? I can't remember if I want service parts or if I want metal beams for the... For the jobby... On the car, just put me lights on. Let's, let's, let's put some light on this. Um, yeah, we will. We will go out and we will do a mainly sort of a scouting job, triggering stuff, and what have you, trying to hit as much as we can. But there is a, a little pipe up ahead, and we should be able to um, sort that out. We will pay obviously for the loading on this because we haven't got a crane. I am absolutely fine with that for now. And we'll try and do as much as we can before we have to um, 
pull any more vehicles through. But I say this this should allow us to do a few extra bits that maybe others wouldn't be able to do um, straight away. So with the with the spare parts, with the fuel, we're going to be able to um, just get out there and do some stuff. Is it an actual job that I need to do? Pipeline construction. There we go. Is that one? Two spare parts. Okay. So it's been so long. Honestly, I had. A few, a few months back, a fair few months back now, I had this, like I say, this first few episodes planned out in my head on what we were going to do, where we were going to go, what we needed, and it's just fizzled away as the, as the, as the time has gone by. I, sh I should imagine we'll be a little bit different from what we... It'll certainly be different from what we did when we first arrived here on the um, stream series, on the because that's normal mode, and yeah, it'd been a while then as well since I'd last been to uh, Alaska. But once we got rolling on that, we, we had some really good streams on Alaska. I think we had one, there was one stream there where we did like 12, 13 jobs in <laughs> about three hours. It was, it was crazy, crazy. But with that series as well, obviously we didn't run at like a, a day speeds and stuff. And in between streams, I'd, you know, prep my trucks. So I'd get everything I needed loaded up on like four or five different trailers. And then we just smash out jobs. That's not something we can do in this mode, in this series. Because this one is supposed to be harder. Right, so we want service spare parts and we're going to pay for them I, mean, I don't know if, the, if there was something else we could have got from there I didn't look but I was coming here thinking I needed metal beams And then once you've done this, for a lot of people, especially those that have um, played the map previously, like myself, the next job is quite often to go... Hmm. Let's not do that too much. The next job is quite often... Oh dear, what's going on? That's not good, is it? How far back have we got to go? too far back. Yeah, next job is often um, going to get the Hummer. We might do that because it's nearby. I've not got a problem with going to get the Humvee. We'll probably never use it unless it comes, becomes useful somewhere else. I'm not a fan of the Hummer. Um, I, I, I'm told that if you tune it right up, it's really good. I've never been impressed with it. Yeah, you know, I've I watch a lot of people like reviewing trucks in this game and and other such things, and some people seem to like it. So that's the first little jobby done. Some money back. Now I've got to, again, let's say, I've got to try and remember even where these things were. So I might save it. I might save it until we stumble across it because I know where it is, sort of. But it's like the the easy route. Where's the where was the easy route again? So 
So I think what we'll do is we'll set, set us up for on our next job. Not that we won't really want jobs, but let's set us up for oh, it's the containers in the river, which we are not going to be doing for a while. Right, so let's just stick this to the side. Stick it to the side. Yeah, although the uh, the new load star is a little bit beefy, it's not always easy to handle, especially um, <laughs> for an idiot like myself. Mistakes happen. Now I th think I'll try and remember now. Yeah, I see it. There is a upgrade over here, so let's have a look. So we have a uh, Freightliner raised suspension. There's a fuel trailer around here that we'll be able to use later on at some point. This is there, like the, the job. We can pull it out here. But that goes up to the uh, gas station, I believe, at the top of the map. And we want to try and be a little bit more efficient with our fuel this time. I might even take that back to our garage for refueling it there for now. Closer. There we are. So that was the route which we came in. So I think we then have to head off that way to those trees next. We'll go get the Hummer. Since I'm sort of on that mission now, we'll, uh, well, not on that mission, but in that area. Once I get out there, it'll, it'll come back to me. Just turn around. Have to check my map a little bit. Yeah, we can go this way. We can go this way, I believe. Now, with the raised suspension, we are proper bouncy now. Ever yeah, so bouncy. So, I think we go this way. I might at some point take a wrong turn. We're good, we're good. Sticking it in low gear obviously makes it so much smoother, but so much slower. So there's the Hummer. So 
Let's make sure we... Uh, Activate it. I don't think we really need the engine on. We'll save it, and then we'll have the fuel out of it later. Oh no, we won't. We get to, we get to keep this. We'll, uh, this is one for us. Now, I remember the first time I rescued this, and I, I dragged it all the way down there. But guess what? The fleet star. <laughs> it took me forever. First time I found it. First time I come here, I just brought my beloved Fleet Star because it's the truck I love. And um, yeah, honestly, I I've done so much with that Fleet Star. It's just not played ball with me at times during the hard mode, so it's not. It's not been as um, present <laughs> as uh, maybe I was hoping it would be. I've not been able to prove my point of uh, you can do everything with it <laughs> because it's not allowed me to but you can because I've done so much with it And the, the load star is, uh, only makes the scouting a bit easier. Like when we have to do stuff with other trucks, obviously the, <laughs> the abilities here um, no, don't really help. Now this does want to go the other way. What I'll do as well is I'm going to shoot up this road. I'm just going to activate... There's a roadblock up there, so I'm just going to activate the roadblock. So I can... Um, know what I need to bring. Because again, I, I forget. So if we start tracking that. That's one metal beam. Can we get metal beams from there? We might be able to clear that blockage from the get-go. No, just spare service parts. So we won't know where we can get metal beams from until we can. And I think the closest place will probably be the warehouse here. That's the closest place we'll be able to get metal beams from. So I'm going to go back to following the right task. Just drowned Hummer. At least now I know I need to come this way with a, with a singular metal beam, at least. I haven't said it yet, so uh, thank you for coming back. Welcome back for those that are following along the series. It's so good to be somewhere else. It's a shame I've forgotten my um, plan of action already. Never mind. Let's get going. Why is that? I don't know, it's connected a bit weird. There we go. That's better. It's connected to, to me and not the trailer. I just have to remember not to sort of sprint for everything, just sort of rev it a little bit and then let it, let it coast along these roads. And we're going to try and sync ourselves up. This episode will probably be a bit longer because, you know, well, I started a little bit earlier because we had to buy the new truck and, and stuff like that. Plus, I think we left left Michigan at like half past 11 at night. So, 
I've been sitting waiting to uh, to get on, waiting for the day to tick over. But I'd sort of had enough of waiting. Here. There we go. Mark is grateful. He'd appreciate it if you could keep tales of his lost Hummer to yourself. Here's your reward. And the reward is the Hummer. I think a while ago I stopped beating them out. Don't know why. Just, just would forget to. I think it's because I've started to be in a bit of a hurry. So that's now ours. We're, yeah, like I say, we're. Probably never going to use it. But we're going to put it away so it's out of the way. You can just stay there for now. Yeah, just in case it can then be recalled, can't it? So back in the international. And it's time to go scouting. Time to get out and about. So how are we for fuel? Not too bad, not too bad. Right. So we're going to start off. We're going to take uh, this left route. If we... Oh, no, not that. Take it out of the... We're going to come across a fuel trailer, a scout fuel trailer, that we need to deliver. And it's right next to where it needs to go. So... I'm not sure how much. I don't want to mess around with it too much. I know I'm going to waste fuel, but... Yeah, however many litres is in there, we'll just... Stick in our, in our fuel stocks where we can, and then, you know, whatever, we'll just have to lose what's left over. It's only a little one. It's not the end of the world if we lose it. If I, it was a while ago that I watched it. If I remember rightly, my man Wessel grabbed this one right at the end. And like because he's a logistics genius he'd watched his fuel and he moved the, the exact right amount of fuel into one of his trailers or something that he was pulling so then he could uh, take it out of the the one that you've got to deliver and leave the 10% in there right so we have raised for the Ford CLT 9th which is a road truck or a highway truck um, so we won't be using that probably you never know we might if we get a free one somewhere we might use it as a fuel trailer maybe I think you can buy that sort of from the get go so I don't know if that's one that you unlock later on but you unlock other vehicles that you can buy I mean uh, little scouts and stuff turn up, don't they? Well, they might just be because they're little scouts. We have quite a few nice vehicles to get here. Um, one of them, I have to remember not to put the raised um, suspension on because it just gets too bouncy. The BR, the Royal BR17 is a, is a nice truck. But it gets very bouncy. Now, we need to. I, think I, if I, I can just roll down here, I think. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, all good. Yeah, there is a little, a little wee jobby down here. A 
that's delivering a fuel trailer to that square there, <laughs> to that hut. And there is a trigger. Oh, I hope, anyway, I hope there's a trigger. I think there's a trigger at the fuel trailer. There might not be. It doesn't matter. Once we, once we bring it back, we'll be able to trigger it at the hut. So we go down the frozen river. We've got our, got our spikes on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a trigger here. Accept that. The local radio tower was due a shipment of fuel uh, to keep it running. Seems the oil tank ran into trouble and it's now lost. Can you find it and get it to the radio tower? Lord knows they need it. Nice little scout job. Will that attach? Some things you have to be really lined up with, don't you? And others, like if you're attaching a semi-trailer, it's really forgiven on the attachments. And then others, like you got to be right on it. Got to be careful here. Got to be careful. Why are we not? really turning. What is going on here? What is stopping me from turning? That'd be the bloody trailer, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's just... There we are. Have I not triggered it? Right, we've got spikes on, we can get up this hill. We should be able to get up here anyway. Nice and easy. There is a track that way round. There you go, you can see it. It leads round and you just sort of go round up in the snow and the dirt. If you can't, if you've come this way and you've not got um, chains on or you've not got stud tyres, there's your other option. Now I've got to try and turn this. Probably easier to have gone the other way, wouldn't it? Nice and gentle. There we go. So, how much you? so much. I don't need all that. It's a shame, isn't it? This is going to be so much fuel left over. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just leave that there. Because it's easy to get to. Yeah, I want to do that, actually, yeah. And I'll come and grab that near the end. Like, a bit like my man Wizzle, apart from I've got it all set up and in the way. But, yeah. That might be what I do. Actually. You out of the way a bit. There we go. So, yeah. That's fine. I'm fine with that. That's good. It'll be set as a job, but we know where it is. Okay. Constantly in reverse. Because you're leaving it in reverse, that's why. So now we've got to head back. Well, we haven't got to head back this way, I suppose. But I'm choosing to, apparently. We've gone back the way from whence we came. There we go. Good climber, good climber. And that's why I haven't gone for the uh, the even larger engine. We could have done, but 
I think at the minute we'll be fine. Trying to remember where all the uh, the upgrades is going to be a challenge. Where all they are, um, or all them are. Again, it was so long ago. Do our best. So there's one of our glorious trailers that I'm not looking forward to having to deliver. That can be problematic, that one. as I'm sure you'll see when we get to it. I will probably put that delivery off for as long as possible. Yeah. Sideboard trailer there. The massive... The massive drill trailer thing there. The oil rig, the drill rig. That load and point. Now this way, this way is quite treacherous. We had some big rolls down here on the on the stream series. We had some big rolls. We really can't afford that with this one. So we have an upgrade down here somewhere. Now that, them rocks, them ones there, those two, they will bounce you so much. They are awful. Those two rocks are like my nemesis. So this is for the Hummer. Raised Hummer. Probably never get used. Can I get up there without too much fuss? I doubt it. Um, hmm. Can. Oh no, that looks a little bit naughty, doesn't it? That does look naughty. So we'll not risk that. That we shall not risk. So we'll back up where we came. Yeah, the, le the lean on this is awful. The camber. The terrain. Come down here with anything a little bit jovial, a little bit quick, a little bit bouncy, and you're gone. And you are gone for good. Might as well say goodbye to that truck. Oh, get a little freeze there. That was a concern for today. PC is running very hot. So we've pretty much just travelled. I'll show you in the map what we've done. I'll put the map the way that you come in. So we've come in, we've opened up up here. Found that roadblock. Oil tank delivery there. So we've got a job that we've not yet done. That goes up to the garage, to the petrol station. The, the gas station, I guess. Um, and then we've got this job here that we didn't do, so we've activated two jobs we've not done. Uh, found some new parts here, and then come along here. Um, there is a, a more, I'd say more challenge, it's, it's challenging in a different way. This is really muddy, really narrow, and hard to get through. But this is just a roll waiting to happen down the bottom here. So you do have a, an option, and it does even tell you there's a detour.
Now, up ahead, and we're not going to go through it, is, <laughs> is what is often referred to as Devil's Mud. Um, I've been stuck in it many times. And it's over there. You pretty much see it. Devil's Mud is over there. But we're going to take this route. When I did the stream series, I completely forgot about this track down here. And I forgot that there was a job down here as well. So I made life harder by never using it. And uh, I had to come back off stream and come and grab that last job. I couldn't figure out why I hadn't hit 100%. Um, but that was because there was a jobby up here. Not quite here, but further along up here. You can take this track. This track will go back down. So this wide bit here, this is Devil's Mud. Um, yeah, there's a little track to take you back down onto the main road. So you can skip that and try and weave through, but you cannot obviously uh, get large machinery through that. Some narrow off-road trucks, or um, you know, the, the smaller heavy duties, you can sort of weave through there a bit. That's where the Fleet Star comes in handy. <laughs> that might go low gear for this bit. Want to run away from us? It is. It's tight, 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 tight. And it's even a tree growing on the track here. Look at that. That is how tight that is. So we never we never would have been able to sort of get it through there with the uh, the dual wheels. These ones are a little bit wide. There's some other areas where these wider tires might cause us a little bit of an issue while uh, on our scout run. So we have another little job whilst doing the scouting. And that will be to deliver that little lodestar. So hey, name's Mitch. People around here say a lot of good things about you. I need your services. A local fellow named Noah left town with his family a few months back and they abandoned their truck. Can you get it to me? Certainly can. Start tracking. Bring it in. Keep it pretty close because it's got to go back to the house that we just uh, drove past. Has it got fuel? It yeah, has got fuel. Be careful because we'll get a boulder under us. Try to force our way through the trees again. There we go. He's a bit narrower, so he just sort of sneaks through nice and easy. Again, it's those little boulders that will push it flip. Yeah, so the last time I completed Alaska, this was the very last job I did. This time, sensibly, one of the first. There we go. 
And now, I think... Yeah, I think we'll... Um, we don't need to go back that way, because we can reach this a different way. So we will follow this route through onto the main road. That's where we'll go. Quite, I do really quite like Alaska. I like that it brings some different challenges for us. Some of the challenges, you know, <laughs> maybe I won't like when we get to them in hard mode, but there's a lot There's a lot here that I like. So now that we're here, we have... Get that on the way back, I think, maybe? Oh, no, we'll, we'll quickly scoot over there, because there's other things that way as well. I'll quickly scoot that way. Very good. Very good. We're scouting, we're doing stuff. It's all good if we do a little backtracking, so. Is that the one I want? That's not the one I want. I will get these two turns um, mixed up quite a lot from both directions. So that's the road down at Devil's Mud. So when we go round here, I believe round here, we'll have our cargo in the mud um, contract stuff going on. We need to go in cab for this little bit, just so I can see where we're going. Are. Cannot see through the trees if not. So these are two crates. These have dropped down because we activate the job. So we've um, triggered a couple of things here as well. So no, uh, bags on ice. And what else did we get? We unlocked the logging station, the fuel station, uh, stuck in the mountains. All that juicy goodness there. But we are going to come back out and head down towards the, uh, the port. The port of North Port. Cab just so I can see through the trees. Lovely, lovely. Hour along, let's go. have a downed bridge up ahead. It shouldn't really stop us. We should accept it. If we start tracking it, we just have a little look at what I need. Again, metal beams, so that's once again over at the factory. We can cross the river here. As long as we're careful. We'll 
head to, we'll head straight to the port. We'll just uncover stuff at the port. That's what we'll do. So we've got a track to the left, and that'll take us back to where we came from, um, from those two houses where we picked the truck up. That's where they go. So down at the port, we have a load and unload. I, th I thought we had a, like a, a parts restock here, but I might be wrong. We have a trailer pickup. Oh, camera. Uh, and again, see, so yeah, we've got a trailer sh store thing here, which we will probably have to use on this map. And then we have some fuel up here. Now I think, I think, 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 think. I think this is for us to keep this one. Yeah. We'll grab a little out of that though. Did it wrong again? No. Keep skilling. So I have to come and collect that and move that at some point. Now, where I need my fuel laid out for me for a hard mode run, I'm really, really not certain. Is there anything up there? I don't think there is. There's not often a reason for a road or a route. You know, without a real purpose. But we'll we'll take that as a little shortcut and we'll jump onto on that road. Or that road, that track. Keep our eyes peeled for upgrades because I think there was one out this way near the edge somewhere. It might even be in the woods, but I have to dive into it to get it. Or am I thinking of the outskirts of Pedro Bay now? Am I getting all confuddled already? So then from here... We'll go up, we'll hit the... Should we hit that? Hit the watchtower truck we we've got a truck to pick up sort of around here I hit the watchtower that's what we're supposed to be doing anyway doing the scouting jobs watchtowers upgrades triggering them um, tasks and contracts that's our thing This will reveal a couple of extra jobs for us as well. At the top there. This little challenge job here if we were to get up there. But we've got to go around and do other things. But we've got a rock fall over here. Stone fall there. And again, I forget what they require. But we do have an upgrade here that we can see now. And also our Royal BM-17. Sometimes... I can get that out of there really easily. Another time, it's an absolute swine. So, I should imagine, for hard mode, it'll be an absolute swine. Let's go see. Let's go see what it does to us. I think even on, I think on this on the normal mode stream series, I think I that guy just got some jammed and peed me off that we just reset it. And I, it's very, very, very rare that I do a recovery for, for like a challenging like truck or something like that, or a recovery of a truck. I used to use the recovery in normal mode saves just as a convenience to jump across the map with a healthy truck. I think the Royal BM proper screwed me for some reason on that stream if I remember rightly and I've had two other saves so I've gone and collected it since and uh, been really easy so we shall like I say we shall see we'll see what it does try 
and stick up on the side. We have a upgrade just around the corner. And it is for the Caterpillar CT680, engageable or wheel. I, there's a Caterpillar that we can get here, but I believe this, that's, this is for a, a, a Caterpillar truck. The, the Caterpillar that we can get here in Alaska is sort of a, a fuel carrier, and um, it does have a, a, I think a medium log carry on it as well. I think I want to go this way. And up here. Well, they missed the Royal. Now, I quite like the Royal, but only when it's not bouncing around. I. I um, just jam the uh, raised on this. I always end up doing it, and then I'm like, oh, I get I get out to certain areas, and I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. So what we can do though is. Pair it with the uh, chassis add-on. It's a lot of parts in it. The wheels are all right. I don't know if that is going to leak fuel though. So I think I better just max it out. Unfortunately. Um, refuel. Oh, it had fuel, so it probably wouldn't have leaked out. Never mind. Right. It needed repair in either way. There we go. I'll get it right eventually. Right. Let's go. So this should be... I think... An easier recovery. Should be an easier recovery. I'm not sure, maybe out. That does need to be in the low plus. That's where it needs to be. The boil is going to allow us to get stuck into some jobs without having to hopefully pull like the Western through yet, the White Western or the Fleet Star. Come on, buddy. It's not playing ball, is it? It's not playing ball. Come on. How many you
Let's go this way. Pulling it with the uh, because it's quite a capable truck, but pulling it with the load star is going to be it's still going to be easier uh, because of whatever tyres the uh, the Royals get on. And so we we would never have driven it out of that mud state, even after repairing it. I just don't think it would have gotten out of there. I think that's something that I've struggled with in the past. But giving it a little yeet along. Should be good. The sun is starting to come up. It would be nice if we can get it back to our garage uh, before sort of seven o'clock. I say this episode is a little bit longer because we used a little extra day. So just have a little introduction to the map and pick out our truck. Once again, I can't remember if we triggered the bridge or not. Standard. Standard, standard. Did we trigger the bridge? We did. Right. We're actually on the bridge as a job. See, these tyres, we would never, never have gotten anywhere. Certainly not in any sort of Timely fashion. There you go, pull it along. When we were pulling it, it probably wasn't even driving with all wheel drive since we hadn't been <laughs> switched all wheel drive on. I've never been certain of how that works, whether they match you for your gears if they've got them or for the diff lock. Nearly home. Sure, what the time is. I'm not used to the light of the day cycle. Uh, poorly abused. Poorly, poorly abused, little royal. Siphon a bit of fuel off there. Can kindly. And it goes. Lovely job. So can we repair? I'm gonna fix this bodywork because we didn't do that damage. We are gonna pay out a little bit of money for that, so it's all good. And we shall quickly. Got the best 
engine for it. Although, because it's quite thirsty, um, I'd probably like to get the um, GBAB 2800 TTA. That's the one we want. That is out here somewhere for us to collect. Gearbox. Might leave. Hmm. the off-road one right we're gonna leave that as it is so we want to put some chains on all chains all chains i said we're not we're not raised i'm not gonna raise i've got to try and remember i can't raise oh, I, can, I can raise but i'll always mess it up raised uh, winch we'll stick with what we got spare wheel now this is something that i'm i may end up using that's the ggms utilities on the back of one of these I don't know. The thing is that we need something else to uh sort us out afterwards um we're gonna go with the repair parts though i do like that as a little mod and we will stick the wedge cap on Get rid of the stock bugs, it's not going to make no difference. So we will go with our crane. And with our crane. And thus. We put a flatbed on, I think, actually. As if we don't have a spare. Oh, it's because we've been using sideboards. But there's only one of them. Did we sell all them as well? Um, anyway, yeah. I'm going to go with the flatbed. I spoke about this a while back. And, um, yeah, we're going to give it a try. Whether this prevents me from falling over as much as it has, or as I have in the past. So, yeah, why we don't own a flatbed, I don't know. Well, actually, hmm. This is for another things now, aren't I? No hitch. Yeah. Low hitch, because then we can put a different trailer on it. I think that makes more sense. And it is clearly daylight. So that is going to be it for today. It is way past, way past our uh, end time. Left the engine running on that, which is never good. Um, but that'll be it. That's us for today. That is our first little out in, in Alaska. Our first episode in Alaska. Quite productive, admittedly, down to the bonuses that we get from this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful modded uh, Lodestar. Uh, next episode, we'll be back out there. We'll be unlocking more of this area. We might try and do a few little challenges as well uh, we will be i think yeah we will we're going to spend a lot of time in the load star to start with we're going to go out and we are going to scout all four maps before we start doing anything anything major any of the big main jobs and contracts if there's little ones in the map that we can do as we're going around we might try them little contest we might try it but we're going to go around hit all the watch towers find all the upgrades trigger as many of the jobs as i see i'll probably miss one or two i often do um, but i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification and i'll find out when new videos are going live if you are new and you got the time go back and watch michigan it was quite a disaster but you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon Bye bye